Hello, Yagub Mellim. It's Mehmed Aliyev talking right now. My problem is, in two toasts of fair coin, what is the problem that heads will appear at least once? So let's go to the simple solution. Since it's a fair coin flip, and we flip the coins twice, we can have four different results, meaning that our sample space S, like shown in there, S equal to HH, HT, TH, and TT. All, out of these four different results, three of them are in a, are in our favor. Favor is HH, HT, and TH, like, like in there. Uh, since two of them, HT and uh, TH, uh, have one H and one of them, H, I mean HH, has more than one H. When we find the probability of something, we divide number of favorable to the total. I mean 3 divided by 4. We can say it with the percent, percentage. The percentage is 75%. So let's uh, look at the solution of this problem according to Adambert. One of the most famous intellectuals of the 18th century, Adambert, proposed a different solution. He argued that in real life the situation is different because the question asks us to find probability of at least one age. Uh, therefore, we are solving this question or a similar similar questions. We do not need to continue to check the rest if we get age, meaning that our sample state is not H H H T T H and T T. It is H T H and T T, like in short there, shown there. Out of these three, uh, two of them is favorable. H and T H is favor favorable. So the answer is. 2 divided by 3, according to Alambert. Uh, let us change the question a little bit. Let us imagine that we are asked to find in 3 toasts of, uh, in three, uh, I mean three toasts of a fair coin, uh, what is the probability that heads will appear at least once? According to Alambert, our sample space is H, TH, TTH, and TTT, like shown in there. Uh, so the answer to the question must be 3 divided by 4. Why 3 divided by 4? Because we divide number of favorable to the total. So uh, let's disprove Alambert's claim. First of all, Alambert made a big mistake at the beginning. Uh, he was right that in a real life we will never get HH or HHH since we will stop once we get 1H. However, when we solve this problem, we agree that each of these samples, I mean HH, HT, TH, and TT, have the same probability of 1 divided by 4, I mean 25%. For example, if one of them had more chance of pro pro possible, had more chance of possible possibility, say HH has two times more probability. Probability of getting H, 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 T, T, H, and T, T would be 2 divided by 5, 1 divided by 5, 1 divided by 5, and 1 divided by 5, respectively. In Alambert's sample, H, T, H, and T, T, chance of H is 2 times more than T, H, and T, T. That's why we cannot say that probability of getting at least is 2 divided by 3. It must be, but it must be 3 divided by 4. Now I would like to touch one more point to illustrate the situation better. Uh, according to Alambert, if the coin is flipped twice, sample space is, I mean, HHTHTT, uh, and if it's flipped three times, sample space uh, equal to H, T, H, uh, T, T, H, and T, T, T. In the first sample space, probability of getting H is considered as 1 divided by 3. But in the second sample space, it's considered as 1 divided by 4, according to Alambert, which is another way of showing his mistake. So these are all about my problem. Hope you all will enjoy it. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. See you.